Oh, this needs to come past it. Oh, crap. I didn't realize this. I forgot. This needs to come past, and there's no freaking way. Oh, okay. Well, maybe there is a freaking way. What's up, guys? This is KG4E, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for a game called Automation Empire. And I'm just going to give you the quick and dirty about what this game is about, although it's not exactly the same. It's basically like a kind of like a 3D factorial. It's going to be a lot of differences, but that's just kind of an easy way for me to, you know, get you into the headspace of what Automation Empire is all about. Uh, this game is coming out on November 20th. Uh, that is this Wednesday. It is not going to be early access, which I'm kind of surprised about that, about that. Um, I don't know the price yet, and I just want to give a thank you to Dog Hoggler, which, by the way, is a freaking fantastic name for a development team, um, for the key. Let's get started here. All right, so um, there's a lot of different planets you can select, right? And other ones will open up as you, you know, achieve goals and everything. I'm going to go with the easiest one I can see right now because I'm a total noob. And we're going to go with Coastline. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and start a new colony. And our new colony will be named Cage Tech. Because, I don't know, it sounds pretty cool. Cage Tech. It sounds like people build cages for a living. Um, starter Mode will be on. Um, starter Mode provides you with all the basic... Uh, Pre-built. Oh, oh, so we could actually build from the beginning. We're not gonna we're gonna start with starter mode just because it's a little bit easier. But basically what it'll be is we'll have a we'll have like the basics, very, very early game basics set up for us. Uh so we don't have to build those ourselves. And um yeah, I mean, this game is really a lot of fun. Um I heard I have read on Discord, so take this with a grain of salt, that it is only made by two guys, which is pretty freaking amazing. All right, build on the edge of ocean, less forest. Okay, don't forget about the island of oil. Okay, well, there you go. Now, we have a goal, which is 25,000 kilograms, um, a three-month weight output. So basically what that means is we have to move a certain amount of weight over those three months, I guess, to maybe finish this level, or I don't really know what happens there. Um, there is tech trees in the game, and a lot of these tech trees are actually based on how much weight you've moved. Right. And different like um, or different products have different weight. Right. Like uh, ash, green grass, you know, all the way up to capacitors and they all have a different amount of weight. Um, and once you've got a certain amount of weight through, it'll open up maybe the next map. I don't know. And it'll definitely open up some of these technologies. Okay, I'm pretty noob to these kind of games. So, you know, take this. Uh, let's play with a grain of salt and uh, have a good time. Uh, right here is our power station. This is our drone bay. Uh, drone bay will allow us to have four drones. So we've got one drone right now. I think the first thing we probably want to do is, is buy more drones, maybe. Um, right now, we have a mining rig, all right? And there's a little connector thingy here. Um, a transfer tube, which is taking stuff to the mining rig and putting it into a crate maker. The crate maker is, da -da -da -da, you guessed it, making crates, okay? And we also have the unload station here, which is what this little guy is uh, bringing over there. All right, now, uh, I don't like this setup right off the bat, um, so I think what we'll do is we're going to kind of, although it does give us a good amount of room to work with, but I think we're going to need more room in this area. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go right to uh, minecart tracks because everybody loves minecart tracks. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to, by the way, when you sell stuff in this game, as far as I know, you get 100% of the resources back right now, which is a uh, pretty freaking beast. Oh, one thing I had a problem with when you guys are playing this game is is moving the camera around. You have to hold down the middle mouse button, which is kind of weird. Um, a lot of people say it's like that in a lot of these games. Um, I, don't, I guess I don't play a ton of these games, so I'll t I will take your word for it. All right, so we're going to want to move this um, crate maker to a better spot. So we're going to do is we're going to grab the uh, crate maker, and I think we're just going to put it right here. We want it as close to this drop chest. Uh, drop chest. Uh, as close to this um, road truck theme about it. this truck it's just a truck um as possible all right now right here you'll have a road entry and then you'll have a big long road and then you'll have a road exit and this is how you get money in this game uh and you need money to buy stuff it's, it's kind of simplified um in a lot of ways you just load stuff in here get money spend money to get more money um these these road entries and stuff have to come out of cliffs so i can expand more roads going this way but i as far as i know you can't make roads unless there's cliffs on both sides so this is basically where you want all your resources to go to make money i didn't even realize there was stuff over here oh boy i think that's the oil up there oh boy oh boy okay well let's get started let's keep it simple stupid all right don't don't get too crazy right away because that's a big problem i have with these games i try and do everything at once okay so i think uh we just want this right about there if that'll work, I don't know. The tracks, the, the minecart tracks are a little bit weird to get used to um, in some ways. So, you know, uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to press delete and we're going to sell those. And then we want a minecart track running past here. You want it running one spot off 
because you're going to need these transfer tubes, right? One sucks up stuff into the tube and outputs the back. One out inputs from the back and drops it out of the tubes. All right, we want that one, obviously. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to set up the minecart track right next to it. All right. And then you just hold down the button and you kind of just, uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Now you don't want to, now what you could do is you could bring the minecart track straight into here just like that. And that'll work, right? Um, you know, but that's not really what you want to do. What you want to do is you want to have it run past this because there'll be like multiple minecarts on the minecart tracks and the minecarts have to go by in order for that stuff to get sucked up, right? So first things first, let's go ahead and put a suck up tube thingy right there. All right, we can get rid of this stuff. Now we're not making any money now and stuff does cost us money. So actually, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause the game because there's no point in running the game if we're not making money. Um, right here, our previous month's revenue, you know, you got a bunch of stuff up here. We'll look at current month's revenue, current month's power and taxes. And there's the three, three month uh, wait limit there. All right, so um, I think what we want to do is we probably want to have this minecart track come through here, and I'm thinking, will that work? I don't know if that'll work. Let's try it. That will not work because reasons. Um, it's just the, the, the you have to have these uh, minecart tracks on a certain kind of trajectory <laughs> as far as the way they go around. Um, so let's do this. Delete. There we go. And a lot of this will be trial and error. But we'll get it. So I think we just got one more, right? And then, oh, I see why. Okay, cannot build uh, next or cannot build the transfer tube. So let's uh, take that out and let's see if we could put that in. I think that I don't think you could put the transfer tube there or the, the um, transfer tube because it can't take stuff off of a curved. Yep, port does now put. Yeah. So you see how this is curved? That's why you can't put the transfer tube there. So what I could do is I could move this over one, or or I could probably move this down let's um see if we can um we should be able to bring this down one more spot like that and then have it turn all right so we go there yeah i think like that and then like that and that should work now we should be able to put a transfer tube down uh well that's the wrong one there we go okay all right so now we need to do is we need to give this some mine carts right and then we'll just give it one for now and we need to turn it off and turn it on. It's not working. I'm not really sure why it's not working. Well, it's not working because we got the game pause gauge. So there you go. You're too pro, bro. You are too pro. All right. So now that's going to put uh, coal into there. This should suck up the coal. This thing doesn't have any power. That is okay. We will give it some power. So there, well, that right there is going to connect the power. And now what we want to do is we want to make unload stations there's load stations there's unload stations just use the unload station now i think that one here one two three four five six okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to leave these unload stations priority off drone priority on these is off because i read somewhere that these things can only hot hold five crates for some reason um you can't just load up these like conveyor belts and just have tons and tons of resources on them like in factoria so we're going to test that right now uh, well, no, so I guess that's, wait, one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, maybe either they changed it or that's not true. Um, these things can hold a few more, I guess. So we'll just go ahead and put that down right there. Wow, okay, so I don't know if they changed that or not, but I definitely heard that somewhere, but I don't, I don't know, maybe I misheard. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the highest priority, all right, and this guy's going to move crates over there. Now, that's, he, that's a lot of work for one drone, right? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy a couple more drones. Let's just, let's just buy all four. You can have up to four drones. There's no reason not to buy four drones. Now we have a problem where one truck is probably not enough, right? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a truck bay right here. Um, road Strip Pit Stop. Let's call it its proper name. All right, and we can put one right there. Or we could put one over here. The problem is if you put one... Can you have connected? No. See, if you put one over here, you'd want to put it here. And then you'd have to make another um, road entry. And those are a lot of money. So I don't think we're going to do that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this one right here. And you don't have to buy another truck. Another truck will automatically come in. But you do want to click on this and go to medium priority. Okay. Now, this one's obviously closer. We want this one to be the high priority. If this one's gone, then they'll go to the medium priority. Okay. You can also set it up to what resources you want it to accept. We're going to leave that alone for now because we don't really need that. All right. So, now these guys should be moving these things off the, off the belts. Actually, you know, we could just put the belts all the way down here, couldn't we? Is there really a need for that, though? 
It, go, it does seem to go faster than drones. I'm not really sure. Well, you know, you do sell stuff at 100%, right? Well, I, actually, I didn't test that. Let's test that. All right, how much is a belt? A belt is 2500 and it sells for 2500 There you go. All right, so you know what? If you could just sell these, whatever. Let's just... Well, it's spending all our money, that's why. You know what? Let's not do that. <laughs> let's not spend all our money on belts we don't need. Um, what we do need is more coal coming through, so let's do that right now. And I think these mining rigs are pretty expensive. Are they called mining rigs? Yeah, mining rigs are pretty expensive. Yeah, 15000 Um, So... <sighs> I'm going to put them in for now, and I'll sell them later if I... I'm definitely going to have to sell them. Yeah, there's no way. Well, whatever. Let's just get the other one hooked up. Now, we want these tracks to go past each one of these, and then get to the end, and then come back around. You could make a loop, like a continuous loop. I just don't think the loop is as efficient, maybe? I don't really know. I don't know crap about efficiency with these games. Anytime I think something efficient, I got someone telling me, no, that's not efficient, and here's why. Um, so, whatever. But uh, I'm not going to use the loop technique. I think what we're going to do is we want to come around... And I think we want this to go right in front. That pole has got to be moved. So let's go ahead and delete that pole. Now, if you click on something and press spacebar, you can, like, duplicate it. So you don't have to, like, go into the menu again. And that's just got... Well, this one's not hooked up, but who cares? We're not using it right now anyway. All right. So let's bring this around like this. All right. Now, these... Uh, these minecart tracks are very difficult with turns and everything. So if you could have it turn where you need it to, great. But it's going to be difficult to do that a lot of times. These S-move, minecart track S-moves are what you want. All right? This, if I put two of these in, I think will line up perfectly. Yep, there you go. So that does line up perfectly. All right, so that's going to come through here. And we'll have that go... Well, should we just do it now, right? Oh, you see, that can't go on an S. That can't go on a turn. So we're going to have to bring this down two more wait one more there we go and then uh so let's come down like this there we go is that on a turn i can't tell well you know what we could do we could put down the the transfer tube and it won't let me put the turn in there if the transfer tube can't work so let's just go ahead and put that in now and then we'll try and place the track see see how it's red there you go okay so it's got to come all the way down to there. All right. And then uh, let's see how we can make this work. So we can't make that work there. You don't want it to go directly in. Trust me. You don't want these to go directly into anything because then you can't have the minecarts go past it. And you want the minecarts to go past it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why in a little bit. Um, you know what? Let's just give this one power. Let's hook all these up. Can we? Do we have enough to hook everything up? I don't know. Yeah, we do. We do. Minecart trucks are 2,500 each. We could put down another electricity pole right there. And bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, and all these things are working. Now, um, that's that's taking some time to collect. That's why it didn't go in. Actually, the minecart might be full, too. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to get more minecarts more mine carts on there, right? To have more transfer. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the minecart tracks and we're going to kind of bring this through a little bit right there. And then we're going to bring it through a little bit right here. Okay, that might be more than we need, but it's okay. And then we're going to add two more minecarts. All right, so now we have three minecarts coming through. And, I mean, you can see how this is working, right? So this is going to start pumping out some money. Got a bunch of drones standing around doing nothing. We got an empty truck. That is not going to work for me. But I think this is a pretty decent setup. Now, one of the problems I have right now with the game is um, th they have a decent amount of worlds, which is interesting. But I kind of would like procedurally generate it. And I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Um, usually, if a game doesn't have, like, you know, random randomized worlds in the beginning, it doesn't usually add them. So, I don't know if we're ever going to see randomized worlds. I kind of doubt it. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right. So, you can see right here, these are not being emptied properly, right? So that's a problem, right? This is not this is not efficient. This is not going to work, right? So what we can do is we can make these um, these containers to store things. Now, we're probably going to have to tear this whole thing down to put in a container, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Let's just um here, let's just get rid of this. Might be losing resources in here. Actually, let's get rid of this first. We'll let the we'll let the resources come out of here so we don't actually waste any. And then see the um it's it's making crates one per three. It's got a bunch of active crates coming out, and, um, you know, so that's fine. So we don't have anything coming in right now, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this down. Actually, I don't think I could put a, a container in there. Uh, no, I'm going to have to put a container right there. 
All right, so let's just wait for this empty, and then we're going to put down a container. Basically, what will happen is the, the coal... I should have made this container first. This was a, uh, you know, learning experience, you know? Uh, but yeah, we've got these containers here, and what they'll do is they'll hold all the, you know, excess, so it kind of builds up, and it'll keep things running a, a lot smoother for you. All right, guys, um, I don't know if you noticed that. I've already deleted all this stuff, but I went back and watched the video. I don't know if you noticed, but as soon as I deleted the transfer tube that was leading to the crate maker, the conveyor belts that were holding the box crate stuff these things right here we're deleting them and i'm not really sure why it was very strange but um i was noticing that after the fact i was like oh that's kind of weird um all right so we're gonna put this we're gonna put one of these containers right here we're going to put up a sucky tube thingy mabob um these should now that should suck stuff up right now right it's weird sometimes like if stuff is not part of like an assembly line it just doesn't work all right so that is starting to work so that's nice Okay, now we need to get that into the crate maker, so we're going to have to use one of these transfer tubes. These transfer tubes are one of the weird things about this game. Um, these things do not connect in any way, shape, or form, and they also don't turn. No 90 degree angles on these, which is just really weird. Um, it's more the connection thing that's kind of annoying, but yeah, some kind of um, joint thing, like a plus joint thing, some kind of connection. Allow them to go on a 90 degree turn somehow would be phenomenal, and um, also having them connect would be great. Uh, okay, so... Let's go ahead and grab one of these little transfer tube thingy bobs. All right, that's great, and that this goes right into the um, right into the crate maker, right? Yes, it does. Now this thing is not exactly um, right next to the trucks anymore. Kind of got pushed down a little bit, but that's okay. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, and then we're gonna put the output output thingies right like that. No, nope, you gotta click it twice. There we go. Now these are on no priority. Remember when they start? So we're gonna put that on high priority. All right, and now um, we should be able to get some crates being made. This thing has no power, so let's go ahead and grab one of these. Move it over there. And now we've got some influx of cash again, and we're only at $10,000, so that's um, that's going to be quite nice. I don't even see anything I could really delete easily um, to make, you know, to get more money back, but I need, I want both of these trucks. We've got four drones. we got three of these. It's looking pretty good. Are these all emptying out? Yeah, these are all emptying out. That's three of ten. That, oh, that's ten of ten, so... That one, the last one was not emptying out, so that's, um, there, let's go in now. You can also set these things to skip, right? So you could set this one to skip one, you could set this one to skip one. I'm not going to set anything to skip right now, but one of the things I really love about this game, one of the coolest things is, is allowing your transfer tubes to skip certain, like, basically, it could, like, skip the first one and put it in the second one. Skip the first two, put it in the third, um, which is just phenomenal. That's really freaking cool. All right, so those guys are going. All right, so I think the next thing we want to start looking at is research. Now, how do we want to do the research? So, oh boy, this is going to be a tough one. Um, I guess the, the obvious place to put the research is right here. I think I might put it right here, though, because that might be cooler, and we could have just kind of bring this down along. Um, the problem is if you have research going, it, it will, like, you know, basically research takes your resources, and it just researches with them. So instead of having coal going out in trucks, I'd have it going into the research labs, and I want to be able to disconnect the research labs easily, all right? So what I'm going to do is, uh, how much are the research labs? Yeah, they're 10,000. I could definitely put one down. So I think we're going to put one down right here. Nah, I'm going to put it down a little bit more. That's where that one would go. So we can put one. I want to I wanna leave room for two. I could probably put one on the inside as well. Yeah, I think one right there will be pretty good. There we go. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll bring down the tracks. Uh, actually, does it need to go? Yeah, yeah, we'll bring down the tracks there so the, so the minecart tracks can go by it. And then what we'll do is we will have one of these sucking it up into there. So there you go. And now we should get some resource going in. Uh, some, uh, not resources, but some resources going in to starting our research, okay? And this is the research thing. It's actually quite simple. All right, it can only hold eight content. Actually, it can only hold eight contents. So I don't think we have to worry about this sucking up all the resources that would normally be being sold. So our money should still be coming in a decent clip, although this is going to lessen it. Okay, um, but we need the research for this right here. Unlock the refiner for the f in the factory for later on. Um, not really a big deal. So I think, do we want it to suck up? It's not going to suck up multiple things. See, it's it's barely going to take anything to be honest. So I think we'll still be okay um, making money, which is the most important thing right now. All right, so is this full? This is not full. That's only about half full, which means this is coming out of a good clip. This all looks pretty good. Um, we probably didn't need two trucks, but we kind of needed two trucks. We kind of need two trucks. Needed? I don't know. But 
getting two trucks is definitely good. And this one's getting filled first. That's the priority because um, it's closer, you know, relatively not as close as it was before. But it is closer, and that is wonderful. By the way, you see these lights right here when they're yellow? When that turns green, then you know you're ready to get some research. So, all right. Yeah, this is all looking pretty good. I think, um... I don't even know if there's anything else we can do while I wait for research. We can't do anything until we get the factory. Um, I could come around and mess around with iron just for the lulls while I wait. Or I could just pause the video and wait for the research. I think I'm going to actually um, maybe get some iron on the line. But the thing is, we don't really need iron. I don't really know what I would do with iron right now. Um, we could sell it. It probably sells for better than coal, right? This is what everything sells for. So there's coal. So there's two different kinds of materials. There's the material ore. And then there's the material. Right? You've got coal ore and then coal. Coal ore gets refined into coal. Obviously, coal sells for more and has more weight to it, I'm assuming. Um, but let's take a look at iron. So iron ore is right there for 12. Yeah, I mean, it, ba it barely does more. Than, I mean, it probably adds up, but I don't think it's anything I really need to concern myself with right now. I think we'll just... Um, I don't think there's anything else really here to do except for to just wait for the research. So let me pause the video and I'll come back when I got enough research to get the next part. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to save the uh, the upgrade for the research points for next video because it's actually going to open up uh, factory stuff and that's going to be a whole nother kettle of fish. Um, so let's just uh, let's just hook up this iron just because I can. It's probably not efficient right now. I was just looking at my monthly income efficiency and oh my god, like current month months power and taxes zero i mean like i don't know what any of this means but it looks pretty damn efficient to me looks pretty damn efficient to me but we're gonna ruin that but that's okay all right so let's go ahead and put down some mining rigs here and let's hook all these up with some minecart tracks and see how this can work now i want the minecart tracks to come down here and i really wish you could like have these go on to this track without interrupting this track but as far as I can tell, you can't, which is kind of a bummer. Um, if I have this, I could just extend this track all the way up here. But man, that's really going to really gonna cause some issues with efficiency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use raised, I'm going to use minecart ramps and see how these work. Because I've never used these before and they look pretty freaking cool. Uh, height level three. Right. Uh, why can't I choose three? I'm not really sure. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. It's because it's a ramp. Okay, I get it. I get it. So you want to choose one, and then that gets it off the ground. Okay. So I've never messed with these, so let's uh, let's see what we can do with these. Why not? Let's have some fun, right? That's what it's all about. There we go, and then we go up to level two. Now, can these go over these? They should be able to, right? It wouldn't make sense if they couldn't. Right? That's the whole idea. All right, and then I'm going to kind of want to bring this over here. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to put down another tank... And I gotta move this. All right, hold up, hold up. Uh, it's gotta connect to that. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Shut up, timer. Not the boss of me. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a container right next to this as close as possible. Oh, can those actually share? No, they can't. Okay, good. <laughs> I was hoping they couldn't. And then we're going to put a, a transfer tube right there. Oh, yeah, hold down spacebar and then click on what you're looking at. Like, why do I keep going to the thing? Well, it's because that's what I'm used to. All right, so we've got to get... See, that's going to be on the track, and I can't meet these tracks. So that's actually not going to work. This would have to be placed down. Yeah, we're going to have to move this down a little bit. Oops. There we go. All right, so let's put down the tracks first, since this is all new to me. These um these height, you know, track height thingy Um. So, like that. And can these turn? I don't know. Uh, actually, it's supposed to be... No, I want it to go down. So it's got one. Yep, there we go. This thing's in the way. Oh, good, we didn't need it. Very good! That worked out. Let's go use this. And then raise it up one. And then go to this. And then put it down one. <laughs> Uh, can I? No, nope, see, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. I absolutely adore the fact that you can sell stuff without a loss, man. Thank you for that, developers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these over here, and then this can go like that. Is that lined up properly? No, this has gotta go, and then it's gotta go to the side. So actually, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit tougher. Eh, shouldn't be too bad. All right, let's go right here, and then down one. And then turn this around. 
Okay. And then uh, that just needs to go to the side, right? That's all. That's all. So, like so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Ugh. That is not the way I wanted to do things. Um, but I don't really see a better way of doing it. And then one right there. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll put this right there. That's going to collect off the track. So you can't put it anywhere else. Because, well, you can put it here. Oh! Huh. I don't have the room for that. Maybe on the other side? Then I'd have to get it over there. Ah, that's where I'd like to... Wait. Oh, it, it's not... I don't think it would take stuff off the track right there. I think it's just letting me put that there. Because it's off the ground, it doesn't count as, like, being there. You know what I mean? So I think that is fine right there. Okay, beautiful. And then we got a tank. Well, that's supposed to be the other way around, please. Uh, delete, delete. It's got a really funky way of deleting stuff. But I'll get used to it. Yeah, that... Oh, it's because it was the other... It was because it was the opposite direction. That's why. Okay, fair enough. Alright, there. And then, like, so... Nope, that's not right. Into here. Still getting used to the game. <laughs> uh, there we go. Alright. And then... Copy... Uh, you know what? Let's have this go this way. Because I think we have the room. Uh, although I don't have the copy anymore. There we go. Okay, right there. Copy. I wonder if we can put it on the same belt. I don't think you can. Like, the belts don't, like, work together either. Um, as a matter of fact, I can't turn the belt either. So what we'll do is... It's okay. We'll just delete that. And then we should have these belts coming out of here like this. And those belts will not, like, work together. Um, we'll put that on high priority. Alright, and now we just need to hook these up. And uh, we should be good to go. Uh, maybe we should have this whole thing off the ground, right? That'll be cool. I don't think it costs any more. Also, I heard that when stuff's off the ground, it actually moves quicker along the, um, along the minecart tracks. So let's bring this out to here. For now, we'll just leave that there. Now we need to hook these up. So let's see if we can hook these up without any problems. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, I'm thinking like that. Uh, yeah. That looks good. And, wow. Okay. Well, this was a lot easier than I anticipated. Uh, I'm thinking even like around there. Yep. A lot easier than I anticipated. Is that lined up? No, definitely not lined up. Okay, so let's bring this off the ground and then just kind of have this come down this way. And then what we'll do is we'll just delete this. And then we'll kind of try and line these up as best we can this way. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay. And then I'll have this go up. Whoops. Yeah, if you got to click it twice. If you don't click it twice, you can kind of move it along. The, 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 the gameplay, like, the way the controls work is a little odd, but it definitely works. It's just, you gotta get used to it. It's not like any other... A lot of the gameplay controls are not really like anything else I've ever played. That should work. Oh, this needs to come past it. Oh, crap. I didn't realize this. I forgot. This needs to come past, and there's no freaking way. Oh, okay. Well, maybe there is a freaking way. Well, here you go. I'm, I'm very surprised at that, by the way. Now we can't put another, uh, another one of these in there, but, yeah. We'll worry about that. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. All right. So, um, what do you think? Like three, three, three minecarts. One, two, three. All right. Off. Go in the opposite direction and turn it off. Okay. Now let's put these bad boys in and then power it, and we should be good to go. Oh, it's the wrong one. I do that a lot. I, I picked the wrong ones for some reason. Oh, that's not a straight track? Oh, it's not. Oh, boy. Okay, well, this is a relatively easy fix. Just go right there. Once you figure out how it works, once once you figure out how it all works, it's um, it's not so bad. You just need to, like, figure it out, you know? Uh, so I think that looks pretty good right there. And then you will connect right there. And then we will put you right here. Okay, now this stuff just needs power. So let's go ahead and grab one of these, spacebar. 
So once you've hooked up the power line once, it won't let you go any farther. Uh, it, it like sets you up at max distance, which I really like. Uh, so I'm going to get it all with that last one. All right, there we go. So let's turn these on. Well, let's let these um, kind of fill up a little bit. And then we'll turn those on and we'll see how this goes. Now this is, you know, this is kind of crazy. Um, I'm just kind of playing around. Ideally, I, I would have just waited for the money to come in and waited for my research. By the way, research is 46,000. Once it gets to this point, you can claim it or you can wait until it gets to the end. If it gets to the end, I think you just waste points. So I'm going to go ahead and claim that now for next video. Um, down here, you have the money, your research, the date, and how many drones you can have. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, honestly, I would have just waited and not did this whole iron mine, but whatever. Um, you know, we're just gonna have to figure out research bays. One of the things I like about these games is it's kind of, I, I like to play these games fluidly. And what I mean by fluidly is I, I don't really design everything. Like I just kind of play it by ear and I just go with what works at the, at the moment. And it does, it definitely makes for inefficiency, but it also makes for more organic fun building. Um, it's more of like, um, it's less structured and more just kind of crazy. I do try and make things somewhat symmetrical. I think this is a relatively symmetrical build for the most part. Um, it's not bad. I think it looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get it from a factorio standpoint. There we go there. So that's the factorio standpoint. And uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. I like this game a lot. Um, I'm definitely going to do more videos of it, uh, at least a couple more videos. We'll see how it goes, though. If you guys like more and you like the videos and watch and if the views do well, then I'll make more. If not, eh, I'll move on to something else. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn the tracks on. There we go. And they're filling up. There we go. Now they're going to come in with a full thing of iron. Now, iron does sell for more than coal, but like I said, not much more. But I think, you know, the idea is, you know, 100 here, 100 there really adds up. By the way, watch the speed here. See? Definitely goes faster on those. And it's going to come along. It'll fill this up. And then we'll start getting some crates on here. We're probably going to need more trucks at one point. And probably some more drones as well. So there you go. We're pumping out some iron. All right. And I'm going to put the iron on a higher priority. Yeah, let's put the iron at a higher priority. Because it, it sells more. I mean, you just want to put it on a higher priority. All right. And there we go. All right, guys. Well, like I said, if you want to see more, make sure to like the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Are you getting it yourself? You know, what's been your experience with the game? And, um, yeah, I mean, watch and, you know, just let me know if you want to see more. I'm going to go by likes, views, engagement, stuff like that. And um, I'm having a good time, so I hope you guys do want to see more. But I am going to call this one here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.